In December 2019, China notified the World Health Organization of several cases of human respiratory illness, a disease later named COVID-19. The virus causing this disease is known as Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2. The disease spreads through small droplets that are expelled from the nose or mouth when a person with COVID-19 coughs or exhales. Therefore, standing close to someone who is infected can put you at risk. These droplets can land on your hand and be transmitted through something as simple as a handshake if afterwards you touch your eyes, nose or mouth, the so-called T-zone. The virus is known to survive on different types of surfaces, so touching these contaminated surfaces and then touching your T-zone brings a high risk of infection. What we know so far The coronavirus is spherical in shape and its genetic material is encapsulated by different types of proteins. Some of the key structural ones are Spike S protein, the most prominent feature of coronaviruses from where they get their name, then M or membrane protein, and the so-called envelope protein. Assalamualaikum, I'm Nazma Shwed and welcome to you to my online class. I am a lecturer in physics under the Department of Physics in Boishal Cat College. And today I discuss again the chapter number six that is geometrical optics and obviously it is the third class. And uh, the learning outcomes of today's class is after end of today's class you must be able to number one explain principle of microscope number two explain principle of telescope point number three explain principle of reflection telescope number four and there's last one explain refraction and dispersion of light in prism so no more delay i am going to discuss about first topics that is microscopes and there are three types of microscopes there is the simple microscopes and uh, uh, there is also uh, one kind of simple microscope or uh, another name is compound microscopes and this is also uh, a compound microscope firstly what is the definition of microscope microscope is an optical instrument used to viewing very small objects such as uh, mineral samples or animals or plant cells typically magnified several hundred times there are two types of uh, microscope earlier i said that there is simple microscope there is magnifying glass uh, and this is the magnifying glass and uh, number two is complex or compound microscopes this is the last one and uh, what is the simple microscope a magnification glass that is called a hand lens that's in laboratory context is a convex lens that is used to produce a magnifying image of an object and uh, uh, now i give the definition of compound microscope a compound microscope is an optical instrument consisting to convex lens of a short focal length which is used for observing the highly magnified image of tiny objects the compound microscope can magnify the image of a tiny objects up to thousand times in 1610 galileo invented such microscope and uh, firstly i discuss about the working principle of my simple microscope and uh, this is the image formation of simple microscopes and this is the convex lens and if the object is present in between uh, of main focus then uh, its image is formed in the same side because uh, if we read uh, draw the ray diagrams these uh, two rays never be meet real but uh, when it back it must be meet in virtually so this is a virtual image form and uh, this is the uh, real 
uh, ray diagram of simple microscope and we know the lens equation that is 1 by v plus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f and uh, here the image must be virtual so we take the virtual image minus v and uh, uh, now we put the values of minus v in the main equation that is minus 1 by v plus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f now i multiply uh, v in the both sides so v by uh, v plus v by u plus uh, v by f and uh, finally we get that minus 1 plus v by u is equal to v by f and uh, finally we can write that v by u is equal to 1 plus v by f and we know that the equation of magnification m is equal to minus v by u and uh, as the image of this situation is virtual so put the negative values we get that m is equal to v by u and we know that the uh, values of v by u uh, 1 plus v by u so put the value and uh, we get the magnification m is equal to 1 plus v by f and uh, uh, if the clear uh, image formation or of clear view of image then the v is converted to d d and uh, v uh, is same because uh, because if uh, v is the distance for clear viewer of image then v converted to d then we can write the magnification formula m is equal to 1 plus d by f so in simple microscope the magnification equation m is equal to 1 plus d by f now i am going to discuss about compound microscopes earlier i said that there are two types of lens we use and both of the lens is convex lens and this is the ray diagrams and uh, uh, we show here the principal focus on the both sides and uh, we also see here this is the main focus and if the object is outside of the main focus then a real image is formed here but uh, the image formed the that is the real image is formed and uh, it must be present in the main focus of the second lens that is the eyepiece lens so the condition for formation of uh, image formation in compound microscope for object lens the object must be stand outside of the main focus and uh, and uh, the uh, image the object object of the image must be formed in the main focus in between of main focus then a virtual image must be formed so this uh, ray must never be meet again so uh, a virtual image is formed here and uh, this is the actual image formed in the uh, compound microscope so object size is a b this is a small but the image size is too large and uh, this is also the virtual image so uh, you must be memorized that the object must be outside of the main focus of the object lens and uh, the uh, uh, eyepiece lens uh, the object must be present in the main focus uh, in between if the uh, object present in between of the main focus then the image must be virtual image and it must be larger so i discuss and uh, from the figure i next show you the uh, main equation so uh, you also describe this is the clear uh, vision of d there is d nothing but uh, it's also b and uh, the length between two lenses is l so uh, we discuss the main equation of uh, compound microscopes and uh, for this reason there are uh, magnification formula we take that m is equal to beta by alpha and uh, this is also very small so we take m is equal to 10 beta by 10 alpha and uh, the length by uh, height so m is equal to m double a double prime by b double prime by d into d by a a double prime then uh, we also convert it m is equal to a prime double prime by d is equal to d by a b and uh, lastly we can write that uh, m is equal to a double prime by a b and uh, lastly we also uh, we can uh, uh, simplify it m is equal to a double prime by a b prime into a b prime by a b uh, that is nothing but m into m e that is a uh, uh, eye magnification and object magnification so true magnification is uh, called uh, the, at, as like this equation so me is equal to virtual image and it is as like uh, 
simple magnification that we can write that one minus v e by a p or uh, uh, that is nothing but m is equal to one plus d by a p. That's uh, I show in the previous slide. That is simple microscope and uh, another one is m not is equal to minus v by u. So if we uh, put the main uh, two types of magnification occurs that in a component microscope and put the values of this in the component microscope, we get the result m is equal to minus v naught by u naught into one plus d by a p. Uh, so this is the main equations and uh, you also convert it in another form m is equal to minus l by f naught plus, uh, into one plus d by a p. So this is the uh, equation for magnifications and uh, we uh, everywhere we use this types of equation we cannot use this types of equation so the main equation of compound microscope m is equal to minus v naught minus uh, by u naught uh, into 1 plus d by f so here is a minus this is a minus and uh, now we discuss about telescopes the objects at a very far distance created very small virtual image in our eyes. To see these objects clearly from distance, we use a telescope. There are two types of telescopes. So one is refracting telescopes and another is reflecting telescope. Refracting telescope use of big apparatus, lens and a long focal distance. There are three types of refracting telescopes. One is astro telescopes, satellite telescopes and Galileo telescopes. Reflective telescopes use mirror and objects. There are three types of reflecting telescopes. These are one Newton's telescopes and uh, Harzer scales telescopes and uh, Georgian uh, telescopes. So uh, here uh, we are going to uh, discuss about astronomical telescopes. So this is a big convex lens and this is a small convex lens and the ray is coming from infinity and meet here uh, and uh, the object is from here and uh, the image also be virtual and the uh, lens between two focal uh, between the lens is f naught and uh, this is also f and this is uh, lens between the two focal points is l is equal to f zero that is object focus plus I focus and uh, this is a considering angle and from the equation we discuss in the next slide. So again the magnification m is equal to beta by alpha and this is very small so we can write here again m is equal to that is same as like compound micros but it is the opposite equation of compound microscope as like we can write that m is equal to minus l minus a p uh, into that is uh, by l minus l by f0 and uh, we can write here m is equal to minus f0 by ap that is uh, object focus by uh, image focus and uh, we can also show the uh, equations in another ways and uh, this is the ray diagram uh, where we met and this is also the virtual image is form so there is same as like equations that we discussed about m is equal to beta by alpha and same way we can write here this is the same as like equations m is equal to minus f0 by ev and uh, we know the length equation 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f and uh, uh, 1 by minus d minus 1 by minus u e is equal to 1 by f e so 1 by u e is equal to 1 by f e plus 1 by d and we put the magnification equations then we can write that total magnification equation m is equal to minus f0 by ap into 1 plus uh, ap by d so this is the uh, total magnification equations in uh, telescopes and uh, this is very simple equations and uh, here i also show you uh, the uh, telescopes of reflecting telescopes there are two types of mirror and uh, this is eyes and the ray is coming and uh, reflected back uh, in the uh, eyes and uh, goes through the mirror reflecting and uh, from the image formation animation you must be clear about how the light comes from infinity and comes to the eyes 
so uh, and is there the magnification m is equal to minus a by a pni and uh, now i uh, say something about uh, uh, corona cautions you must stay at home avoid close contact uh, to others and avoid touching your face without wash your hands and frequently you wash your hands and uh, now i discuss about prisms prism is a glass or other transparent objects in the form of a prism especially on that the is triangle with refracting surface at an acquat angle with each other and that as apparatus with the white light into spectrum of colors so uh, this is prism and uh, now we discuss about the refraction through a prism this is the ray diagram of prism and uh, here i see that uh, or you see that uh, the ray is comes from o ob and uh, uh, that is oq and uh, in the surface of uh, uh, ab and uh, uh, and uh, it comes to inner part of the prisms that is qr ray and it uh, goes again the uh, rs path and uh, we know that uh, in the outside of the prism there is a rare, rare medium and inside of the prism there is glass medium there is a denser medium and uh, when it comes again it is comes to rare medium so light comes from a rare medium then denser medium then goes again to rare mediums so if we draw the, the incident point at a normal then it is the incident angle and uh, again uh, there is a refractive angles and uh, outside of the prism and goes again back back uh, or towards or make a distance from the normal then it is also the incident angle and there is also repetitive angle so there are two incident angles and two repetitive angles and uh, uh, if the we know that the if the light rays comes to rear to there then it comes to the uh, normal and when the light rays denser to rear uh, then it uh, go away from the normal for this reasons the this uh, kinds of occurs is happened and uh, this is called uh, angle of deviations uh, so deviations uh, uh, is as like this uh, uh, if you draw a um, uh, ray uh, that is uh, the refractive ray and it is uh, back to the original ray and uh, make a an angle that is called deviation so uh, the light initial light goes this a uh, path and uh, uh, after entering the prism it goes this path so uh, this is bending and how much bending or how many angles is bending that is called deviation so our target is uh, uh, finding out the values of deviation angle uh, pi so for the point of incident angle we already discussed that pq m is i1 and uh, the refractive angle is t q r is equal to r1 and uh, r is the point of incident angle and uh, again we write that s rn is equal to i2 and uh, uh, r point the repetitive angle is t r q is equal to r2 and uh, we know that uh, the outer angle is uh, must be the total of the sum of the in inner angle so pi is equal to uh, r q u plus angle of q r u and uh, i is equal to we know that uh, that is uh, r q u this i1 is equal to we know that the opposite angle is must be same so this angle and this angle must be same so i1 is equal to angle of r q u plus r1 so r q u is equal to i1 minus r1 in the same way i2 is equal to angle of q r u plus r1 r2 then q r u is equal to i2 minus r2 now we put the values in the main equation so phi is equal to i1 minus r1 plus i2 minus r2 now we simplify this equation phi is equal to i1 plus i2 minus r1 uh, plus r2 and uh, we know that uh, uh, this angle and this angle must be uh, 180 this is the opposite angle so uh, we can write here t is equal to 180 minus a1 and uh, the triangle of this uh, we can write that t plus uh, these two angles sum of two angles is 180 then t is equal to 180 minus uh, r1 plus r2 
then uh, we can write here uh, a angle is equal to uh, r1 plus r2 from these two equations and if we put the main equation phi is equal to i1 plus i2 minus a and uh, now i show you the minimum deviations for minimum deviations if we uh, increase the angle of incident angle then we show that the a deviation uh, angle is also be uh, decrease and after uh, some points the, uh, that is the uh, after uh, one point of incident angle again the deviation in increase at uh, at which angles the deviation is minimum that uh, condition is called minimum deviation angles and uh, we also know that at minimum deviation angles that is i is equal to e and r1 r2 is equal to r Now, this is also same this is called uh, minimum deviation and we know that a is equal to r1 plus r2 then a is equal to twice r because uh, both are, are same so r is equal to a by 2 and uh, we also know that i plus e is equal to a plus phi uh, in the main equation so 2i there is both the i also be same and uh, both are also be same in minimum deviation so 2i is equal to a plus delta a so i is equal to a plus uh, phi del dm uh, by 2 there is minimum deviation and uh, we know from slens law mu is equal to i1 sin of i1 by r1 that is i by r then we can write that mu is equal to uh, sin of i that is a plus uh, del plus uh, by uh, by 2 and a is equal sin of a by 2 this is the uh, uh, effective index in prism and uh, this is uh, find out only for the condition of minimum deviations now i discuss the dispersion of white light through prism in 1666 newton noticed that when sunlight goes through prism the projection on a skin creates beautiful formation of light so white light is not just a simple color it's a composite color so after refraction of prism the rays is divided into primary colors it is called dispersion of light and the formation is called a spectrum so dispersion is the separation of white light into colors of any radiations according to wavelengths a spectrum is the band of colors observed as a result of dispersion now i discuss some knowledge based questions number 1 what is compound of a microscope number 2 what is a compound telescope number 3 what is mean by refractive telescope number 4 what is the difference between compound microscope and telescope number 5 what happens when A red light passes through a prism now some comprehension based questions a who uses compound microscope number b can a telescope can be used as a microscope number c how is dispersion related to refraction and uh, now some mcq questions one the refractive index of an unilateral triangle prism is v2 and uh, what will be its angle of minimum deviation that is one option 30 degree b option 36 degree c option 45 degree and d option 60 degree number b the expression for the magnification of component microscope is one option m is equal to minus 1 and minus 1 b option there is minus 1 plus there is something and third option minus 1 
is one plus. And uh, which of the following is correct? It is B, one and three, one and two, and D, one, two, and three. And uh, now the chance for homework. For normal vision, the distance between the lenses of an astronomical telescope having magnification four is 0 0.4 meter. An object is placed at 80 centimeter in front of objective of the telescope. Question number A, define focal length. Question number B, what do you mean by optical center? Question number C, calculate the focal length of the eye pitch. And uh, last number D, find the nature and magnification of the objective from the above. Now, question and answer sessions. If you have any questions and query, then ask me after the finishing today's lesson, I will reply you in dashboard. And uh, lastly, I show you a video clip for clear information of today's lecture. And uh, again, I say to you, please stay at your home to reduce the risk of COVID-19. And uh, with this hope, I Najma Shwit conclude of today's lesson. Thank you. Thank you all. Simple Microscope A microscope is a device which is used to view very small objects that cannot be seen with the naked eye. There are many types of microscopes, such as Simple Microscope, Compound Microscope, Electron Microscope, etc. A simple microscope uses the principle of a magnifying lens or reading glass. A simple microscope consists of a convex lens of short focal length mounted on a plastic or metal holder as shown here. Principle and Working of a Simple Microscope When an object is placed between the principal focus and the optical center of a convex lens a virtual, erect and magnified image is formed. The ray diagram given here explains how an object looks enlarged when viewed through a biconvex lens. Observe that the object and the image are on the same side of the lens. Image is formed at the least distance of distinct vision from the eye. That is, the distance from the object is approximately equal to 25 centimeters. Magnifying power The magnifying power M of a simple microscope is given by the relation M is equal to D by F where D is the least distance of distinct vision and f is the focal length of the lens. From this equation, it is obvious that to increase the magnifying power of a simple microscope or magnifying glass, the focal length of the convex lens should be made as small as possible. Therefore, a convex lens of shorter focal length is used as magnifying glass, that is, shorter the focal length, larger the magnifying power. However, the maximum magnifying power a convex lens can have is about 5. Watch repairers use convex lenses for viewing very small parts of the watches. Click on the link provided to view the derivation. Compound Microscope 
A compound microscope is an instrument designed to obtain a highly magnified image of a small object. A compound microscope consists of objective lens, eyepiece and a microscope tube. The objective lens of a compound microscope is a convex lens of very short focal length FO. The object to be viewed is kept very close to the objective lens. The eyepiece of a compound microscope is also a convex lens of short focal length FE. The focal length of the eyepiece is slightly greater than that of the objective lens. In the microscopic tube, the objective lens and the eyepiece are mounted coaxially at the ends of two tubes, which can be made to slide into each other so that the distance between the two lenses can be adjusted. The ray diagram gives the principle of a compound microscope. The object is mounted on the stand below the microscope tube. The objective lens forms a real, inverted and magnified image A-B- of the object. The image A-B- acts as an object for the eyepiece. The position of the eyepiece is so adjusted that the image lies within the focus of the eyepiece FE. The eyepiece acts like a magnifying glass and forms a virtual, erect and magnified image of the object. The magnifying power of a compound microscope is defined as the ratio of the size of the final image as seen through the microscope to the size of the object as seen with the naked eye. Telescope A telescope is an optical instrument used for viewing distant objects. Telescopes are of two types, namely Reflecting Telescope and Astronomical Telescope. Click on the links provided. Astronomical Telescope An astronomical telescope is used to view celestial bodies. The main parts of the astronomical telescope are Objective Lens, Eyepiece and Telescope Tube. Objective lens is a convex lens of large focal length and large aperture. The eyepiece is a convex lens of short focal length. Telescope tube has a set of two coaxially mounted brass tubes where one tube can easily slide into the other. The objective lens and the eyepiece are fixed at the ends of the telescope tube. The distance between the objective and the eyepiece can be adjusted with a rack and pinion arrangement. This adjustment of the telescope is known as normal adjustment. Let us now understand the principle of a telescope with the help of a ray diagram. The rays of light coming from a distant object are parallel to each other. This parallel beam of light is focused by the objective in a focal plane and is perpendicular to its axis. The image P-Q- is formed at FO. The eyepiece is adjusted so that the image P-Q- lies in its focal plane. The rays of light after striking the lens of the eyepiece emerge parallel and the final image P- and Q- is formed at infinity. Magnifying power of an astronomical telescope may be defined as the ratio of the angle subtended at the eye by the image to the angle subtended at the eye by the object. Magnifying power in terms of the focal length is M is equal to FO by FE, where FO is the focal length of the objective lens and FE is the focal length of the eyepiece. When theta is small and is measured in radians, theta will be equal to tan theta. Thus, magnifying power M is equal to tan of angle P-D 
Q dash divided by tan of angle P dash C Q dash. From triangle P dash Q dash D, tan of angle P dash D Q dash is equal to P dash Q dash by P dash D. And from triangle P dash C Q dash, tan of angle P dash C Q dash is equal to P dash Q dash by P dash C. M is equal to P dash Q dash by P dash D into P dash C by P dash Q dash. That is equal to P dash C by P dash D. P dash C is the focal length of the objective FO. P dash D is the focal length of the eyepiece FE. Thus, M is equal to FO by FE. Reflecting Telescope Reflecting Telescope is also known as Newtonian type of telescope as it was first designed by Sir Isaac Newton. In the Reflecting Telescope, the objective is replaced by a parabolic concave mirror. Shown here is a Reflecting Telescope. A Reflecting Telescope is used to view objects such as planets, the moon, star clusters, galaxies, nebulae, and multiple star systems. Let us now understand the principle of a telescope with the help of a ray diagram. Incoming light rays pass down the barrel of the telescope and are reflected by a parabolic mirror at the base. These rays converging towards a point A as shown in the figure are made to fall on a small flat plane mirror. The mirror reflects the light towards an opening on the side of the tube that passes into the eyepiece. Note that in a reflecting telescope, chromatic aberration is eliminated as the light does not pass through glass except the small eyepiece.